Lastly, I've noticed that you love to program front squats for us. Uh, he asks that because he's a member of Team Rubber Muscle, uh, which I mentioned before. Um, it's funny because I'm the only one in the gym who does them. Um, in, this is Spain, though. Any particular reason why you're such a big fan versus back squats? Would love to know why you favor them. <laughs> Um, I don't say they're necessarily better than back squats. There's lots of good things to like about front squats, though, for rugby players. Number one is that they are like slightly less. Um, they're slightly less technical than back squats, uh, or they're slightly uh, more difficult to fuck up than back squats. A back squat, and you you'll see this a lot with people that do back squats, tend to um, either be really shallow or end up as like back squat good mornings where you, you, you know, your butt shoots up and then you, you, you know, your, your back ends up being hunched over and then you sort of good morning it up and that's, you know, no one likes that, right? You can't do that second one with front squats because you'll just lose the bar forward. Even if you're holding it like this, which I don't ever recommend, I always recommend doing it like the clean grip, which a lot of people can't do, which is fine. And then you just grab straps and hold it like that or you'll do the zombie version. Um, all of which are fine, but mean that you can't lean forward because you drop that bar when you come forward. So then that teaches you a real good squatting position if you hold the bar in a front squat uh, position. Um, and then also the depth issue, when you're doing a front squat, you'll be able to feel yourself not go deep, right? Because it'll, it'll end up being like a core movement if you go halfway on a front squat. It's very difficult to do. Whereas a back squat, a lot of people do do that. Whereas front squat, you'll get a lot more of a knee bend um, and therefore, like that's why I really do like them. Also, when we're talking about rugby players, like it puts a good emphasis on that core because you need to keep your core real tight, and it but it helps the core engage. Like you're trying to um, drive through a tackle or a ruck, any sort of uh, contact situation. Front squats are magic for that. They're really, really good. The other thing I also like about them is that they're a lot more difficult to, like I said, technically fuck up, but also load up so heavy that you throw your back out or, or, or hurt yourself. Um, you just can't use as much weight as you can do on a back squat and therefore you're just slightly less and, and this is when we're talking about team rubber muscle these are people that are you know I've got programming for all different people where they're giving me minimal feedback I'm not coaching them one to one um, I can set them front squats and know that there's a there's a much lower chance of them adding too much to the bar that they just completely cripple themselves and they would be with with back squats they're just less overall systemically fatiguing and that's why they work out really well.